Before we get into this week's video, I just want to say a massive thank you to everyone who commented on last week's video. I loved reading them. Thank you for your support. After reading all your wonderful comments last week, there's one thing that stood out to me, and that's you guys love it when I make a bottle. So I've decided to bust out the micro machines again, and see what we can make. So it looks like I've got three to choose from. I've got a guy on a surfboard, I've got a ski boat, and a windsurfer. It looks like the guy on the surfboard has seen better days. Even though I think this would be the nicest one in the bottle, I think I'm going to have to give it a miss. Same with the windsurfer guys. They've got no detail whatsoever, so by the time I put that in the bottle and it magnifies, it's just going to look terrible. So I guess all we're left with is the ski boat. Now this looks pretty cool. The detail on the faces are a bit ordinary, but I think it'll be okay. So I think this is the one we're going to go with. I'll quickly run through the plan for this build. Now normally when I do my bottles, I cast in a PVC pipe like this one. But for this bottle, I want to do it a little different. I'm going to do this one in two pours. I'm going to have a blue base using some blue alcohol ink and some magic pearls from Solar Color Dust. And then once that's cured, I'll sit the boat on top. Then I'll take some gel medium and create some waves. Then I'll finish it up by pouring some clear over the top using some art cast. I'll leave the links to these in the description. Now because I'm going for the half half look, I'm going to have to use a container like this where I can pour into the top. Now unfortunately I don't have one the exact size that I want, so I am going to have a little bit of wastage with this. I was going to use this one because I think it's a better size, but unfortunately this won't fit in my pressure pot. So the first thing I need to do is get my resin ready, mix in our pigments and pour ourselves a base layer. Now you would have noticed that I used the electric mixer for that one, and I did that for a couple of reasons. One, I wanted to make sure the pigment was well mixed in the resin, and two, I actually don't mind if there's a few bubbles in there, since this will simulate the ocean. Now all that's left is to leave this to cure. Now this one won't be going in the pressure pot. Like I said before, I want to keep some bubbles in there. And the other reason is, I want to keep checking the top of this. And once it becomes sort of firm, I want to see if I can get the boat and wedge it in a little bit. Because as we know, when boats sit in the water, they sit a little low in the back. So I'm going to try and go for that look. beginning I said I was going to use some gel medium to create some waves, but I'm a bit unsure if I want to do that now. In the past when I've used it, I've painted it on top of the finished piece, but this time I want to paint it on and then cast over the top, and I'm unsure how it's going to react once it's inside a resin. So I've decided to play it safe, I've got myself some white acrylic paint and a paintbrush, and I'm just going to brush it on.
So as you just saw, I ran out and I had to make a second batch and I just mixed it all together just so it cures at the same rate. So now I'm going to go pop this in the pressure pot because I don't want any bubbles in the top layer. Well, it looks like a really nice casting there. I'm really happy with that. So the next thing I need to do is pop this out of the mold. Then I'm going to take it to my sander and I'm just going to take these corners off. And that should help prevent chip out when I put it on the lathe. Then I'm going to glue it to my waste block and we can start turning a bottle. While turning this bottle, I've noticed it's beginning to look more and more like a beer bottle. Now my original intention was to put a hole in the top and put in the cork like my previous bottles. But if I want it to look like a beer bottle, I really need to put a cap on like this. So my plan's going to be to part the top off and glue on this piece of burl, that way I can shape a cap.
before I show you this week's project, I think it's turned out that great that I think I should give it away. What do you reckon? I think so. And how about you? What? Never mind. So if you think this video deserves a like, go ahead and hit that thumbs up button. And once we hit 10,000 likes, I'm going to give it away to one of you guys. Now let's check it out.